Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be comparing operations in FreeCAD and Blender. So this is for anybody that wants to go from Blender to FreeCAD or vice versa or use them together. So I've set up a basic suite here in the part and we'll compare this to something similar in Blender. So I hope you're enjoying these videos and let's compare these two operations and see the differences between the two packages. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. So we're going to first start with FreeCAD. How would you do a sweep in FreeCAD? Well, depending on which workbench you're on, we can choose the part design. And in here, it's called an additive pipe. So it's the same as a sweep, but it's just called an additive pipe. We'll create a body and then we'll create a new sketch. Pick our plane. I'm going to go on the accept plane. And it's simple as we're just going to keep with simple geometry. So I'm going to place a circle in here, something like this, and close that. Now we need a path for that circle to follow. To do that, we're going to create another sketch. Let's create another sketch. This time, I'm going to go on the XY plane and hit OK. And you can see that if I bring this around, you can see my profile or the cross section is in here. We'll create a path, and I'm going to use something like a B spline. And I'm going to use this one here, create a B spline. We come up, place it in the center, and then create whatever path we want, like so. Right click to cancel the tool. We've got our path. I can right click again, get the mouse pointer back, and I can decide how the path is going to go. So say that we want something like this. Simple as that. We close, we got our path. Now what we do is come up and select our profile. We need to select the tool from the toolbar, the additive pipe. You can see the object's been added, the sketch, which is this profile here. Now we've got to add the path, which also is an object. We can do on edges if we want and we select the object. The path has been added. So with Blender, it's actually called something different, but the process is actually quite similar. Let's delete this cube, right click after selecting it and hit delete. I'm going to add a mesh. We're gonna add a circle. So this is the same as before. We've added the circle in here, and now we're gonna create the path that I'm going to use this as the profile across. Let's bring this around to the Z axis and create some kind of path in here. To do that, make sure nothing's selected. Come on to add. We're going to use a curve and a Bezier curve. That Bezier curve has been added. What I'm going to do is come into edit mode whilst the Bezier curve is still selected. And then I'm going to come in, zoom in, and highlight that Bezier curve by highlighting, making sure it's selected. I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard and dissolve vertices. Now I'm going to sketch a Bezier curve in here, a new one for the path. Let's zoom out a bit. I can use whatever tool I want in here. So we've got Bezier tools of draw or curve pen. Let's go for draw and just bring something in like so. So I've just drawn in this curve. Select the select box tool. And I can move and edit these by clicking on the vertex. And let's zoom in and position ourselves. And maybe I don't want those, so I can highlight them and hit delete. Cell vertices. Use this one. Use the move tool and move this about. Or I can use the select and just select and use the keyboard to grab and move that where I want and use this part here to create some curvature and decide where those are going to sit. Once I'm happy with the path, I can come back to object mode. Now I can get to apply the sweep to this path. Make sure the path is selected. 
it's not called a sweep in Blender. Come down on the right hand side, we've got this icon here, this tab, which is data tab. If I open that up, I've got the options for this path. I'm looking for geometry. So come into here and I'm going to use the bevel. So this bevel here, if I increase the bevel around, you can see what's happening. It's actually added a profile to that. And it's a round profile, although we've got a round profile here. It's added that to there, but we're not going to use that one. We're going to use object. Now we're going to hit a problem with object in that if I click object, it's going to ask us for objects, but this needs to be a curve. So our profile needs to be a curve. If I click in here, you see we've got nothing in here. It's easy enough to convert this to a curve. Select it, circle selected, and then we right click on it, convert to, and select curve. That is now a curve. And we can select our path again, come down, and we need to be in geometry and we need to be in object. Now, when we drop this down, we see the circle there, or we can use the picker and pick the object that we want. That's been applied to our path now. If I wanted to modify this, I just click on it. So click on the profile and we need to be in edit mode. Don't try to modify it in object mode because it won't work. Once in edit mode, I can select what I want. I've got the selection tools here, select box, and I can select say a vertex and move that vertex. And what you'll see is that part of this will move out as well. Let's control Z that. I could say rotate, well, let's go for scale. So I select all of this and scale this down. So we've got that there. But you'll notice that when we scaled, the profile's like this, this way. If we wanted this profile to be flipped round, we just use the rotate. And as we rotate that, that will rotate that profile along that path to get it around the right way. That's the same for this way as well. If you find that this path, because we can edit this path as well by coming back into object mode, select in Bezier curve, and then going back into edit mode. And you can see we can change this in here but you can fully edit this path whilst in here using move tools or the G to grab, etc. And everything will move and conform to what you want. Remember you can use other mesh geometry in here as long as you right click and convert to a curve to allow you to use this tool. If you look to the right, there's the fill caps we come round here, you can see that's now filled the ends. Click on that, you can see it's hollow. Fill the caps and you filled those ends. So I hope that was useful. I hope that's given you a comparison between FreeCAD and Blender's way of creating that sweep, which is a bevel for an object along a path. Just make sure they're both curves by that right click and convert. And I hope to see you again in the new video. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.